And hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we are back with a new review for Marvel's Agents of Shield. Yeah. Tonight's new episode, episode yeah, this, nine. This is episode nine. Um, three more to go. Yeah, it's only three. Three Those more. Twelve more episodes. Twelve, 12 more episodes. Uh, this one is one they basically they they're stuck in a time jump. So was it um, Daisy, Daisy and, and, and Coulson? They're the old one. <clears throat> For some reason, they have like these time, yeah. time loop powers. But it was kind of interesting because they basically sort of made another connection with the Marvel movies without referencing them. Because obviously, Doctor Strange has the has. If you've seen Doctor Strange the movie, he basically has powers that cause him the time loop. So basically, Strange could die over and over again. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the final scene of. Well, almost the final scene of Dark the Strange original one where he's like when he went to face the alien yeah you did a time with Dormammu going, yeah it kept going over doing the same thing over and, and over again and then obviously with uh, Avengers Endgame because Endgame used time travel as well and they talk about time vortexes and everything else so I thought it was pretty cool how, how they made another um, connection to the uh, MCU tonight um, I thought this episode was it was Pretty funny, I would say. There were some decent funny scenes. Um, there was... The, I thought... I just thought tonight was really good. I mean, you know, it was basically mostly about the... Um, the, 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 the What's it called? Her, what, Daisy, like, waking up over and over again? Yeah, it's. I thought it was kind of hilarious how, how, like, she dies over and over and over. And then, like, then like her and Coulson, like, start arguing, but it was kind of funny because... Colson basically said, "Oh, you know, I'm the guy that like told you all." Yeah, this. yeah. Colson's all <laughs> aggravated first. He's like, "Can you stop? Can you just leave me on so when you find me, I'm not, I don't miss out on what's going on?" Because she, you know, every time he he would be powered off or whatever, so he's he's getting annoyed. He's like, "I've already told you this like 76 times or whatever the number was." But basically, each time she dies, they get closer and closer to the time vortex. But the problem is, in order to fix. Um, the time generator, whatever it's called, there's like a part that's like broken, but they have to figure out exactly how they can fix it. So like the first time they tried getting it through um, Agent, um, what's her name, Simmons, yeah. through her head, because they basically said, oh, well, may maybe if we take the memory chip out, then, then may maybe she'll know how to fix it. Well, that didn't work out so good because Enoch just kept... <laughs> kept attack and that's one of the things that was funny was uh every time they were trying to get the memory thing out of simmons's head enoch would come in and just start attacking everybody and then like then i think the funniest one was uh where all the shield members walk in and matt goes we need to talk and then like in the end they're like all destroyed and yeah, everything way to get all those weapons like <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny. It took this episode. Yeah, it took this episode a little bit to get to get going. But once it's like get going, and you part of it can you know, get, you know kind of amusing, especially Enoch. You just come out of nowhere and just start beating them all up and everything. You know, and, and he wouldn't kill them. He would just beat them all up. You no, know, I thought that was kind of funny about that. Um, yeah, it took a while. They and all because they were trying to get you know the implant out of um, Simmons' head, to which you could tell them that what we need is because of is part of Enoch. So once they got past that point, then the time reset again. But they knew this, so they didn't have to try to move yeah. the, the thing in her head again. So Enoch you know, wouldn't beat them up the the, the next time around because they didn't have to do it. So basically, um, you know, and Agent Simmons basically says, well, clearly it's not the memory. Ch and then she goes on to talk about the part that they need to get it all fixed is inside Enoch. It's yeah. in him. But they need to try and form a plan to get it out of them. And which they do, they basically, they basically just surround them and they and basically they tell them. And he knocks like, oh, you mean this? And he just shows it. And you know, and they like, just came straight out, just they told them what they needed. He just had no problem giving them the you know the, the thing they needed, and you know he was sacrificing himself to for the, for, the, for the greater good because he knew he might die, but the rest of them will all be saved. And if he doesn't do it, then they're all gonna die. So. Yeah, I it was like a no brainer. Like, because he's that, that's what he's gonna do. I thought it was kind of cool when he, like, he made the ultimate sacrifice to save the rest of them. But it was also 
the the way that they did it because you know there's you know Daisy Coulson and Enoch they're all just sitting together and the scene was really it was emotional because you know yeah basically Coulson's like you know well it feels sad to die alone and you feel bad for leaving people behind but it's like you know at the same time it's like you're not alone you know and then Coulson basically talks about like how many times he's died constantly and he feels bad doing it but but he knows like you know just how sad it is and but it was also kind of cool of how Enoch also tells them like like I've seen the future it's like you will all die eventually it's just I can't tell you um which I thought was was kind of a warning. So it sounds sounds like things are getting heated up as we're heading into the finale, um, and then obviously they time jump and um, everyone made it safe. And I don't know what year they're right now. They, there was no de- yeah, they details. Didn't, yeah, they didn't show that at all. This, this episode was just them primarily stuck in this this time tunnel or whatever you want to call it. Time storm. Yeah, time storm. Um, and then. It, the ending which I thought was very cool um, they show Malik's son and um, but yeah, what's his name yeah, I forget his name every time Nathaniel Nathaniel and um, and the woman with the crazy yeah, powers yeah, I don't know what her name well, is well to look it up but anyway they basically show them as basically a I'm gonna call it a like a after credit scene and basically, he's like, he's like, oh, your sister is gonna love what kind of power you have, and and he's basically just praising her of how good yeah. her powers yeah, cause, are. because she's oh, she's um, Daisy's sister because yeah. that, that her mother was right. There was her mother. Okay, so the mother's got two daughters. So and I, in the early seasons, they didn't mention her having another daughter. So we thought she was the only one. Um, so and, yeah, that was kind of cool. And then they show the preview for next week, and then. And it sounds like um, Coulson basically. It's only for a few seconds they showed it, and Coulson's basically saying, "Like, like if we leave uh, Nathaniel, like, like if we don't stop him, like, like things are gonna get bad and everything. Like, it's not gonna." Yeah, be he's good. trying to create like this time of all these people with these special abilities to do stuff that's bad. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's late. Um, so yeah, he's trying to create an army of these of like these Inhumans to do bad stuff, and not and not not for good. And then humans are supposed to be the the good guys, not the bad guys. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that should be interesting. See, see what happens next um, week. It will probably be the same year the run because it does show the same characters from last week's episode. So what year was it? The eighties. It, it was the eighties. So they're probably back in what in the eighties. I'm assuming if it's gonna be a repeat, but it, it looks like it looks like next. Sorry, it's just the thunder outside. Um, it sounds like next week is going to be a very interesting because, you know, there's only three more episodes. I don't know how they're going to wrap all this up. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot to do in, in, in three episodes. Um, I'm not sure if the final episode is going to be longer or not. Sometimes you do finales in a little bit longer than the all the other episodes. So I'll have to yeah. see what happens there. Um, I just want to go back to the whole thing with Enoch. It's going to uh, be said he's not in any of the future episodes. Cause I thought he was kind of brought like a certain... Um, I don't want to say like comedic kind of thing because his person was always so different and it was almost like you know yeah. um, humor that wasn't really on purpose I um, agree it was you know the, the tennis episode what, what it was that with him him dying and, and him realizing that being a chronic comedy he'd never had feelings and now that he was butting with these people for so long now he knows what it's like to have friends to have feelings to, to feel lonely I thought that was cool how Coulson and Daisy stayed with it, stayed with him until until he died. Um, yeah, yeah, so, I agree. You know, so that was, that was pretty good enough to do it that way, because uh, he became became a, a pretty big part of the of the, of the, the show. I mean, the first was just you know, a couple of small roles. Also, you mentioned Fitz that Frank Fitz is his best yeah, friend. Yeah, so I mean, um, Fitz continues to get mentioned in these episodes, but we haven't seen an appearance. In any of the seasons, I can't believe so this far. is episode nine. He still has yet to be in a single episode so far. Um, I'm curious where he is and what's what the big secret is. Why he's going to be kept hidden from who? Um, I guess we'll find out because it's so long season. Because obviously the big mystery is, according to Agent Simmons, is 
the cro- Fitz has some sort of information that Chronicoms are trying to get. And the reason why Simmons had a memory chip is because she, does, she doesn't want to remember where he is. In case that they asked her, she would not know at all. Yeah. But I don't know what this information is. or That's obviously something I'm sure we're going to find out yeah, I think we'll some that. episode. Maybe not next week, but maybe... Maybe the final two or something. I have no idea. Yeah, I guess but we'll wait and see. but things are getting good though. Yeah, there are a few episodes left, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Um, what, what did you guys think of this episode? If you, you have any thoughts about this, uh, put it down down, down in the comments below, and it always, as always, hit that like and subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>